Well, hello there. It is, uh, it's been a minute. Um, my name is Judy. Welcome to my channel. Um, it's mostly about cross stitch. I do some knitting. There might even be some sewing in the future because, uh, because the internet. So, um, I believe this is floss tube number 11. Today is Saturday, March 28th, because who knows what day it is? Because these are crazy times, you guys. I don't have any makeup on. My hair, I, like, who cares though? There's no rules. There's no rules. <laughs> so, on that note, cheers. You know why there's no rules? Because I'm not drinking out of a wine glass. And uh, for my friends, they know. I'm like, oh, wine, we have to have it in a wine glass. Can't be stemless. Now I'm drinking out of a water glass. <laughs> so, I'm not gonna talk about this whole COVID thing because I know everybody has heard about it 300 million times. Everyone knows what to do. Knows what to do. So, I'm just gonna get down to it. My husband is out riding his bike. Um, see, I've already forgotten what I've said and I've only been filming for like a minute. Um, my plan was to come back around March 1st, um, but then all hell broke loose and he was working from home and I feel so weird about filming while he's just even here. We are in a small place, so there's no getting away from him hearing me. So, so here we are. You went out for a bike ride, I think I said that. All right. So way back in February, um, I went to Stitches West. So I'm just gonna start with some knitting. We're just gonna get the knitting. Um, and for those of you who are knitters, I'm sure you know what Stitches West is. I bought some things. Um, I bought this cute little book that uh, Mason Dixon Knitting puts out. They have a really great website and they've been putting out these little small books with, um, with a few patterns. I think uh, if I can find it real quick, the whole reason I bought this was for, can you see this? It's basically a scarf with just a lot of different uh, They sort of shift as it goes down. So that's why I bought that because I don't have 11 billion skeins of yarn for projects that I'm already going to knit someday. Um, on that note, I've been wanting to knit a sweater. I've started some sweaters. I've never finished a sweater. So I bought more, more yarn for sweaters. Um, this is spin cycle yarn. That's so crinkly. And this is going to be the main color. I'm going to do this real fast because some of you don't care about. This will be in there. I know these are crazy, but they'll all be mixed together. So it'll be more subtle. All right. So that's, that's that. We're just going to throw everything on the floor. And then I bought a few skeins of spun right round this uh, another sweater because I love gray in front of my face I love all this little I don't know if that's considered tweed yes it is it says tweed on the label I think it'll be super cute if I ever knit myself a sweater last thing I bought um I feel like I have to do a little show and tell my friend Tao designed this hat. I've already knit one, as you can see. So I bought another skein of yarn from Canon Hand Eyes. Look how pretty that is. So it'll be a gradient like the hat. It'll get a little lighter towards the top. So that is my knitting haul from February. I think I just forgot to talk about it in my last one. Or maybe I already talked about it. 
Who knows? Maybe you're getting it twice. Sorry, I had to scratch my nose. Nobody tell me not to touch my face. It is impossible not to touch your face ever. I've, I've given up. All right, let's talk about cross stitch. Um, I have definitely ordered a few things since I saw you last. Sorry, and I'm going to be sniffling because allergies. Uh, allergies are a thing, people. So, I um, got on the auto ship from Silver Needle for these fragments and times for the 2020 from Summer House Stitchworks. These are super cute. I plan on making them into pillows because I thought that was a cute idea. Um, but I need your help. I need your help. So, I got all the floss. Look how cute. I got the backing fabric and the lace. I also ordered the fabric, but I don't, I don't love the fabric. It, it is called flax. I feel like it's a little too brown. I mean, I should have known that. I should have known. This is a pretty common color. Um, so does anybody have any ideas? I was thinking maybe like a light gray. Um, I like hand dyed stuff. I'm gonna just throw everything on the floor. It can be a flat color, it can be some over dyes, not too crazy. I don't like them when they're all over the place. I like the, the stitching to kind of be the focal point and not the fabric. But I was thinking like maybe a gray or like Okay, I'm gonna say yellow, but I don't mean like, I don't mean like yellow. I mean like maybe a parchment yellow, so it's like a super light, almost a beige. I don't know. If you have any thoughts, let me know, because I'd love to hear them. Um, another thing I got was Mermaid Fractor by Plum Street. And I wanna say thank you to Long Dot Stitcher. Um, for commenting and telling me what my little needle minder was. So, of course, I went out and ordered this immediately. Um, I have one market haul. These are all out of order, by the way, because these have just been in a pile for two months. <laughs> so, just, it's all over the place. Um, this was the only one I, I love this one. Sweetheart Hill, another Plum Street. Um, I belong with you. I think I'm getting way more sentimental as I'm getting older. It's weird. Um, let's see. I picked up a Mirabilia, Santa's Magic. Um, and before I forget any of these things, yarn, cross stitch, everything, I will have in the show notes eventually. Um, all right. I feel like this is special. Maybe you guys have seen this before. I had not, and I got really excited about it. Um, this is from Crossed Wing, Crossed Wing Collection. Um, look how real that looks. There, it's a Biscorno, if I'm saying that correctly. She has a series of these. She came out with a new one. Um, I picked the oldest one. Because I like to start at the beginning. I like to do things in order. So, um, yeah, I really want to stitch this and it, I'm, it just, it's really beautiful. Clearly I was excited, but I want to stitch this one first before I buy the whole set and see how it goes. Um, hold on. What? Hold please. I should have some music. Um, cause I feel like this isn't going to make sense unless you see the pattern. Cause I just bought you know, oh, perfect. Uh, look how pretty it is white perforated paper. It's so exciting. Um, I'm going to do this. Isn't it cute? So this was in the latest issue of just cross stitch. Um, I was going to send it out for this Easter, but I just don't think that's happening. 
You would think that now I have all this extra time on my hands, but let's just let that thought go. So, um, oh, okay, we're almost done with this pile. Um, here's another thing I've seen over the years and I've never done. I've never stitched a Just Nan. I've actually never purchased a Just Nan. So, I bought all the little accoutrement for this little, little dude. And uh, I'm going to see if I can sew this up. See if I can do it. Last but not least, my issue of punch needle and primitive stitcher came. I'm sure everyone has seen this already. Um, I do get this as a subscription, so I'm not going to flip through it. I'm sure somebody has done that before. I thought this was one of the best ones I've gotten so far. I think I've only gotten three in the mail. I've gotten a few here and there over the years, but that one just seemed to have a lot of things that really interested me, so fun. One last thing. Um, in our little haul, haul, haul. <laughs> um, I would have said that I just generally don't win things. You know, I enter things on Instagram and whatever, and I've, that's fine. I've never won anything until. I think a lot of us know Clay by Kim. She makes the really great needle minders. Um, a lot of them I see are dragons. They are super cute. But I actually saw a picture of this. I'm just gonna go ahead and show it because clearly you've guessed by now. I won. Oh, I can't do this. Okay. Let's see it. Okay. I'd actually seen a picture of this and I had tried to stalk her Etsy. It's very hard, you guys. She's very high demand. And then I won it. I was so, so excited. It's so pretty. She does really amazing work. I love the little ladybug. Oh, I love the ladybug. You guys, I have a thing for ladybugs. So, weirdly then, I don't know, maybe a few weeks after I won that and got this, I actually was able to get another one. So this one I purchased. I like the flowers. I really, oop. She packages these beautifully too. They're really, really nicely done. Um, but I, I think I'm done. I don't need to stalk her anymore. I have these two. Um, I think that's good. Okay. Yeah, see, scratch my face. Allergies, I'm sorry, allergies. All right. So YouTube police and government please don't get me for having a children's program. <laughs> I'm still going to talk about it. No one's talking about it anymore, but I am. All right. Whips. There's a few. Not too many, but a few. Still working on the Boba Fett socks. Um, I have been alternating knitting and cross-stitching. So every other day, just kind of keeping it. So I think when I finish, um, I'll show you here in a minute. I have a larger knitting project and I think when I'm done with that, I'm gonna um, start focusing on these socks so my husband can have them. So these are the, the colorway, it's called Boba Fett. If any of you Star Wars fans, you should be able to see. Boop. Um, by Mustache Yarn, really great yarn. I do recommend, she makes beautiful colors Beautiful yarn. Um, do, 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 let me get my other knitting project. Is it over here? Alright. And uh, Mitch Stitch, it's, it's not a sleeping bag. And you know what? I, uh, I don't have the picture of what this is going to look like. Sorry, my dog is licking and now the couch is wet. That's great. Um, <laughs> I've knit one piece of this. It's basically like a poncho. You know, it's gonna be a hole in the middle, seamed on the sides and a cover up kind of thing. Um, and I have to knit this until it is 41 inches. I've already done one. So here is side the second. Um, I know, not super exciting to look at, but there it is. It's gonna be cute when I get to wear it. Um, 
but that was some yarn I bought at Stitches West as well. So that was actually the last of that haul. All right, down through the pile. Um, I have been doing the Mary 25 stitching. I believe that's the hashtag that uh, Stitchology started. Did you start it? I think you started it. I'm doing my little sleigh ride. I'm trying to get some of these things that I did last year for Mania. Um, oh, there's my face. There we go. It's not super exciting right now. It's all sort of brown. All the fun stuff's on the top. <laughs> anyway, I've been making some progress on that, so I've been stitching on that once a month. Um, I did start a little Valentine's. I think I showed this to you last time. The heart and hand. Okay, weird, funny story about this. I had this, it's a, it's a kit, so it comes with the floss and the fabric and there's some little buttons and beads. I had it for about three minutes and lost the buttons. And like I have not been able to find the buttons for well over a month. And I, I normally don't misplace things, so it was super annoying. Um, and uh, like three days ago, I was looking through, I have a little side drawer over here that's full of little doodads for knitting and stitching and whatever. Um, it was in there. And not only was it in that drawer, this is a really deep drawer, it was in the back. Like, <laughs> made no sense, but I found it. I was, I was going to order the kit again, I'm not gonna lie. But now I don't have to. Oh, I should show you my actual stitching. Because I'm on a tangent. It's a lot of floss, sorry, it's just... So there is that so far. I think that's really cute. No idea how I'm going to finish it. I might just go into my little finish bag with everything else. I don't have an under the, was it under the bed box? I guess I have a, all right, anyway, I digress. Moving along. Um, two martini stitcher. Are you out there? Are you watching? I startled. I startled. I started. Oh, French, you guys. Um, it is blueberry in time. Somebody say the French for me. This is the fourth installment of uh, the kit that was put together by Inspired Needle. Um, and Summer House Stitch Works. Right, Summer House Stitch Works did two of the designs and hands-on design did the other two. I hope I said that right. So here is what I have done so far. And I have kept up with these, so it's been nice. I've been trying to keep up on something. So, <laughs> so there's that. Um, all right, so that's all my whips, uh, and I do have a couple finishes. So speaking of the Inspired Needle kits, um, this was the previous one. This was number three, um, Strawberries and Mint. See, I'm trying even to read the, Oh, I just, these are so pretty, you guys. So I'm assuming that at some point in the future, they will just put the patterns out because I know that they just did the kits uh, for now. Um, but I, I, I would have to imagine at some point that these patterns will be released for just everyone soon. Um, well, not soon. I really don't know when. <laughs> Lulu is licking the couch. Say hi. Say hi, Lulu. All she wants is for Joe to come home. She has been loving life with the both of us being here. I mean, she's she's her at her happiest. So now she's a little upset because he left. All right. Last but not least, I finished my fading point shawl. It's pretty big. <laughs> You guys, I even went down a needle size. I, um, and I actually, maybe I should check and see, because I don't even know how big it was supposed to be. 
It's big. All right, uh, let's see. How to show this to you. Do, 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 look at it. And that is the halfway point. So when I put this on, I mean, I have to wrap it a few times. I love it though. It is so nice to wear. It is so warm. As you can see, it's just it's ginormous. But I love it. And I'm very happy. Excuse me. I'm very happy that it's done. So that's. All right. So now we have, I know everybody's excited about this, an old finish. This is one that I dug up um, from my mom's house because she's, you know, just holds things for infinity for me. Um, I'm not sure when I stitched this. I know it was from a kit. I do remember that. So it was, I, I don't, it, that's all I remember. I have, all I remember is it was a kit. I'm pretty sure I stitched this maybe around like maybe like fifth or sixth grade. Little houses. It's pretty cute, right? You see it? <laughs> yeah. So I kind of remember starting it and then kind of losing track of it for a little while and then picking up and finishing it. So that's exciting. Um, I can't tell you anything else about it. If somebody else knows, I'd love to kind of document it, but not a clue. Um, all right, you guys. One last thing, if you recall from the uh, last video, I did a giveaway. I know we are well past February, but this, I drew for this little whirly gig. Um, so what I did, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna insert it here. Well, maybe I should tell you first what I'm doing. What I did is I just put um, the people's names that entered the drawing, and I put them into the tiny decisions wheel and just spun it. So here's a video of that now. Okay, so congratulations, Ingera. Um, we are friends on Instagram. So I'm gonna reply to your comment and let you know that you won. And then, um, so either email me, I will, <laughs> she hears the front door. I will, uh, I'll put my email in the description box below. So you can either email me or just send me a note on um, Instagram. And uh, that would be great. I'll get it out in the mail to you. So, you guys, I think that's it. Um, everyone take care and uh, I'll catch you next time. Bye.